In the past four years, we've worked on our boat a lot. <laughs> From doing exterior and structural work to renovating pretty much the entire cabin. If you've been following our journey, then you know how much we've been working on our boat, transforming a little tiny sailboat to basically our dream home. And if you are new to our channel, then you can go ahead and click that binge watch button at the end of the video to see how far we've come. But we didn't see the need to stay in a single place and do the whole refit at once. So as soon as she was ready to sail, we left the dock and took off into the Caribbean and spent the next four years progressively sailing and working on the boat, spending time in some really beautiful places, um, and then hunkering down for a month or two and getting some work done when we found the right materials and the right time. <laughs> Today we are tackling our Dodger project because as you guys remember, our Dodger is also falling apart. And so. it's no longer fixable. We've been fixing it for the last yeah. three years, um, spraying it with waterproofing stuff and like stitching it here and there, but it's pretty much blown out entirely. And so we're gonna have a new one built while we're here. Some of you may be wondering why we're not building it ourselves because DIY is sort of our style. Yeah but we could buy the sewing machine and we could buy the kit and the templates and stuff from sale right we could spend a couple of weeks putting it together i don't think we'd do as good of a job like there's no way no. we would get it done but yeah between the sewing machine and the materials we'd probably be spending close to 1500 to 2000 dollars at least um and for another thousand or so mike's building it for us and that includes a panel off the back so yeah, yeah. he showed us pictures of the work he does it's fantastic yeah. he's gonna be doing it in less than a week and yeah. in the meantime we can tackle all the other projects that we have to be doing ourselves so sure. it's gonna save us two or three weeks yep. so that to us is a pretty fair trade-off I think yep that's just Rumbles. it just it Golly. popped out of here oh See? wow yeah that is just <laughs> I think it's time for a new one eh? uh, yeah <laughs> Jeez Louise yeah <laughs> yeah and do you want help taking it off Make me work. <laughs> you better, you better just sit back, have some coffee, relax. It does not happen it just very feels, often. I know. It just feels so weird to just be sitting back. I, I think this actually might legitimately be the first time because, like, we had the guys weld the, these tubes up, but like, we still installed it. Like, they brought it here oh, and yeah. set it on the dock, and we're like, "Thanks." See ya. But yeah, for real. Not because. So what's the next step? I am, next step is me sewing up the top and then I'm gonna bring the top out, put it on and then pattern the, basically the enclosure. Let's just call it the enclosure of the Dodger. And then we need to take it off to like zip, zip, slide that bit out, zip, zip, slide this bit out. Yep. No, that's fine. I like the end, the end cap's really. Good morning, guys. Mike is almost finished ooh, with our Dodger. So this morning, we're gonna head over to his shop and uh, see what he's got going on. Brainstorm that idea too. Yeah. And then um, if this, if the little, if the pull cord's up, 
and it's kind of running along in here, then, yeah, you could pop it in, in and out a couple of places. Yeah, I'm going to give us a little bit of room, so maybe maybe around there. And Yeah, like a, a bit of adjustment. Well, Mike is definitely what we would consider a true artist. We've seen some of his other projects, and you can tell he's very passionate about the work he does. Yeah, and what we like about working with him, too, is that he is very open to new design ideas, and he likes to challenge himself to less standard projects. So working with him with the projects for Uma is going to be pretty interesting. We're just excited to sort of sit back and relax and watch him work. But Mike pretty much only specializes in Dodgers, and he's got a pretty full schedule. <laughs> yeah. So while he's working on that, we reached out to Wendy, who has another local canvas shop here at the marina and she'll be able to help us do some of the smaller projects because that's what her specialties are. And she's gonna help us build our stack pack, yes. which we're excited about. She's technically never done one before, uh, and we've never done one before, but we've got some pretty good ideas, and she definitely has the skills to do all the sewing and cutting, so I think it's gonna work out pretty well. And it kind of comes back up, I was thinking this is a kind of super solid thing you can attack. Wendy just texted and she is starting on the stack pack tonight and since her office is here at the marina we're gonna go check it out Well guys, Uma's having her fitting today. The stack pack from Wendy is ready and the Dodger from Mike is ready. So we're going to install all of that today. This is gonna be so exciting because it's gonna look really good with the head sail. Like, I feel like I could put my arm through. <laughs> wow. Oh, there's Wendy. Here we come. It's all coming together in one oh, day. Hours, right? Yeah, within like two hours. Dodger's done. Head sails up. Nice. Stack packs looking pretty good. Really what do you nice. think, Wendy? Look at all that. I think it's awesome. Look at all the window that you have, yeah, you know, you don't have that of a regular Dodger, good. you have all the fabric, how are you doing? Looks good. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks really good. Now we're going to so have to paint our boat so it matches. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. So, keep going with the end if you want.
Well guys, everything is done and it looks amazing. This polycarbonate glazing is crystal clear. We're really excited to be able to see out of the Dodger when we're actually out sailing. Uh, we also had Mike make these little protective covers in the back that we call wings. Um, it's where we pretty much spend all of our time on passage and before all the rain and junk would kind of come in here on your shoulder. So now we have this sort of protective bubble to hang out in. Uh, Mike also made covers to protect the polycarbonate when we're not out sailing so that they'll stay crystal clear for a lot longer. Because of our main sheet placement comes right across here in the cockpit, we can't actually build a full enclosure, which we wouldn't really want anyway. Uh, we like having the main sheet here. It makes tacking in and out and single handing the boat really, really easy. So these wings are kind of in the way, but we built in a bit of a protection feature. Whereas if we tighten up this string and the main sheet accidentally comes across, maybe like an accidental drive, it'll hit the string and pop the shackle out and this whole wing will just kind of blow out of the way and not hold any of the load from the main sheet. The stock pack also looks so good. Wendy did such a great job turning our ideas into something that looks and functions really, really well. The inside of the setback is super reinforced and the zipper is the biggest zipper I've ever seen, which makes sense because the zipper usually is the first thing that breaks. So it's nice that all the parts in this stack pack will last for a while. We also kept the same lazy jack that we had before. We just looped it around uh, the reinforced batten that's are on each side. And it's gonna be really nice to be able to just hoist the mainsail and just drop it instantly without having to remove any covers or any lazy jacks out of the way. And keeping it covered all the time wherever we're at the dock or at anchor is definitely going to help it last a lot longer. So with the stack pack and the dodger and the head sail, it's like Uma has a perfectly fitted suit and tie. <laughs> We've spent the last four years prepping Uma for this day. Back in Guatemala, we removed our tow rails and glassed over the hull deck joint. We also did a lot of sanding and a lot of priming in Guatemala, all in preparation for today, painting. It's the final step in a very, very long process. The paint we chose to use for the shiny bits of the hull is something called Alex Seal. It's a two-part paint that came highly recommended by our friend Andy over on Boatworks today. And it's very easy to roll and tip and it comes out looking really, really smooth. It is a little bit expensive, but this little one quart can, once you reduce it, will be enough to paint all the shiny bits. For the non-skid, we're using a product called Kiwi Grip. It's also very, very easy to apply and tint. We actually got ours tinted in Home Depot. We just added a little bit of black to it to sort of match the very light gray that the Alex seal was tinted to. And everyone we've talked to who've used it absolutely love it. Planning and making sure that everything is masked well is definitely the most time consuming part, but good planning makes a project go smoothly and that's when you get the results. Because Kiwi Grip skins over pretty quickly and everything gets tacky, the technique that we found that works the best for us was to brush the paint and then roll it to get the texture. The thicker you brush and roll, the thicker the texture is, obviously. It's important to peel off the masking tape like less than a minute after you brush the texture on. So it's definitely a two person's job and in our case Dan brushes and rolls the paint and I would go behind them and peel the tape off. We're going to work in smaller square foot sections at a time and we're just gonna feather everything uh, and blur them together but we're just gonna do the exact same process for the entire boat. <laughs> So 
So we just finished one side of the boat and it's going much faster than expected. So what we're going to do is flip the boat around and just do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> that is officially, officially the last piece. We are officially done painting the boat. Oh yeah. Wow. She looks so good. <laughs> we were not expecting to finish this one day. We had like all the plan to do half of the boat one day and then the next and tomorrow we would do the other half and then the next day we would do the cockpit and then we just started going and it just we just found the method that works and it just just kept going and going and now it's sunset and we are done boom Well, everything is done and it looks so, so good. Uma's looking like a million bucks. It took us about a day to mask and then two days to paint the shiny Alex seal because we had to paint one coat, let it cure, paint a second coat, and then a day to mask and then a day to roll on the Kiwi grip. Well guys, things are coming together pretty nicely. All the projects that we have on our list are pretty much done. And I swear, Uma looks so good. She almost looks like a brand new boat. Look at this. Whew. That's our baby girl. But anyway, the non-skid is finally dry enough that we can walk on deck. So we are going to go on a little bit of shakedown today before we venture offshore. Um, it's also a very sunny day today and it is hot. So we invited our patrons Terry and Lena over for a sunset sail. Hi! Well, you got shiny top. A few months for you, right? Before you got painted, you started in another country. All right. Are we ready to go? I think so. Are you guys excited? We are. Yeah, yeah beautiful day I for hope a everything sail. lines up. <laughs> Nothing I can say to make it right We had our share of troubles And we couldn't fight no more We couldn't fight no more I know that I'm the one to blame I gave it all away and I've got no How's your new friend? I like him. It's a new pet on the boat. You gonna name him? A new mascot. He's pretty cool. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, Uma is just built to sail. You guys uh, built a really nice boat. She's uh, very nice to sail. I like having crew. <laughs> <laughs> I like being crew. It seems to be kind of outdated. The city is let's start your Don't waste your life letting you love die. I'm talking about you and I giving this one more try. I'm waiting on you. Yeah, that was like the most nerve-wracking thing. Back in Guatemala, we removed our toenails. Our toenails. <laughs> 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 